Hi there, so it's Women's Health Month and this week brings about the finale, but I want you to strive forward, celebrating your health every day. This segment, I wanna talk about cancer. Unfortunately, it's so common today and still there's a lot that needs to be learned as far as prevention, but when things have gone wrong internally and there's certain cells that have grown out of control and producing tumors, relative to hormones, our genes, our exposures. Ultimately, it all comes back to this. As women, we are faced with many stressors from defining ourselves to showing up and caring for others, working, taking care of kids, adults, other family members, friends, whatever. We wanna make a difference. We wanna achieve so much and we are often burnt out from all of this. We get into situations that cause us stress, whether we see this as good or bad, we get lost constantly thinking about it, thinking about what we have to do or what we can do. And this can be excessive. This is a, a constant way of life and it has a huge impact on our health. It can cause sleep problems, keeping us up at night, have us waking up feeling exhausted. It can cause pain thanks to inflammation throughout our bodies. And it can cause digestive issues in which we don't process and move things along. And that's how we hold on to toxic waste inside, which leads to gaining weight. Or we can have irritable bowels and pain or diarrhea or discomfort. Either way, the body is not doing what it should do with the foods that we eat. This can also cause skin problems and skin eruptions is the body's way of telling us that something is going off inside. Well, it's all no good and it puts us at risk for developing cancer. And some of the most common cancers affecting women are breast cancer, ovarian and cervical cancers. You or someone you know may have been impacted by cancer and while changing times, more research and everything has led to more cancer survivors, there is no easy feat dealing with it. And it could be a struggle and I, I wouldn't wish that on anyone. Now there's around about 240,000 invasive cases and 50,000 non-invasive cases of breast cancer diagnosed every year in the United States alone. And 75% of all breast cancers are hormone receptor positive cancers. And these cancers need hormones such as estrogen to grow. And unfortunately, some of us women are not recycling and detoxing estrogens as best as we should be, which puts us at greater risk. Other things to note is the hormones that's in our food and our water supplies. Things like girls now having their first cycle before the age of 11 or women not having their last cycle or reaching menopause until after 55. Women are now waiting longer to have children. Rather by choice or not, this increases the risk for breast cancer. Triple negative breast cancer tends to occur more often in younger women and in African American women, and it tends to grow and spread faster than most other types of breast cancer. Now, because these cancer cells, they don't have hormone receptors or um, the excess HER2 uh, protein, and so medicines that target these don't work as well. So ladies, do yourself breast exams. Go for your annual wellness visits. Get your screenings done so that nothing is missed. You know, finding out early increases your survival chances. You have to feel on your own breast, okay? After your shower, you can palpate your breasts and your armpits regularly like so. I mean, just get a hold, hold your arm up and palpate it and feel for something. And if you feel something, then say something. Don't ignore it. Don't give in to fear because that shuts down your body's ability to fight alone. And if you don't like what you're being told when you go to see your healthcare professionals and you don't feel like you're being heard, then seek a different opinion. Don't keep working with a doctor that doesn't listen to you or makes you feel unheard. Be your biggest advocate and connect with somebody who will be if you don't feel like you can be. But it all starts with you checking in on you. Now, I know that there are other cancers affecting us in other parts of our bodies. I'm not covering them all here in this video, but I wanted to mention and inspire hope. Some things you can do to reduce your risk is managing your stress in any way that you can. You can do this by, here we go, getting enough sleep, 
I can't say this enough. We take for granted the important things that happens in the body when we are asleep, in darkness. The body needs that. So try to sleep at least six to eight hours at night. And if you work nights, I encourage you to limit the light in your bedroom if you can. Get those, you know, dark out, black out curtains. Close your blinds and unplug yourself from electronics. That means no cell phone. Put that thing away. That means no TV on in the background. If you must hear something, let it be some sort of white noise or isotonic or uh, binaural beats or hertz or healing meditation sounds. I like to use a brain tap headset that helps me to get into deep delta sleep. Other things you need to do, get outside and be in nature as much as you can. Every day, a 20 minute walk. This is not only peaceful activity, it does wonders for the body and the brain. It allows you to de-stress naturally. So how can you make time for a walk throughout your day? Maybe right after lunch or in the evenings, find you something to do or some way to do it, okay? Exercise can be anything that you want, anything, any type of movement that brings you joy. There's swimming, there's yoga. Just turn on some music and just dance alone. Anything to get moving and get the lymph and the waste inside of you moving and flushed out. And of course, nurture your body with clean, natural, unprocessed foods. Cooking, everything at home can sometimes be difficult. I know we are on the go. Convenience foods are easy for us to rely on, right? But it's expensive, okay? And I mean, when you end up with poor health and on a whole lot of medications, having to go to the doctor all the time, having pain, can't be with your family the way you want to, that's expensive, okay? So it's time to think about how you can eat cleaner, how you can eat better, maybe use a meal delivery service. Many of them are now very affordable and they offer plans and have great menus. I like checking out the local farmers markets for like organic clean produce. Know where your food is coming from. I love making 20 minute meals on either Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, or Sunday. I have to pick. I ain't cooking every single day. And I love a lot of smoothies and eat leftovers in between those three days. So eating out for me is down to like no more than like once or twice a week, if that. I like to pack snack packs when I'm on the go. This helps me as a mom as well since my I know my son will be eating healthy snacks. He don't know anything about McDonald's or sugary snacks at the store. Now sometimes I know that we have no choice but I like to look for places that have a green menu or healthier options not a whole bunch of fried foods and water is my go-to beverage and I will occasionally do uh, freshly pressed green juices not fruit punches or soda i also love tea and i'm not talking about country sweet tea but i'm talking about loose leaf herbal teas that are naturally sweet or i can use a little bit of honey just add honey has some amazing blends that i really like cranberry harvest being my latest favorite one other things like mushrooms are known for anti-cancer properties so and they increase your natural killer cell activity so be open to having mushrooms in your diet now if any if you or anyone that you know is battling cancer or has fought the fight my heart is with you sometimes we do all we can and still might lose to cancer and i hope that in those situations there's no there's peace and that and no suffering so keep that in mind you got to have the right mindset i can go on and say so much more but i will keep it short i am posting a free wellness guide that you can use to share um, for uh, you know changing up things in your lifestyle if you are dealing with cancer i hope you stay well be happy and happy women's health month and until next time be well